Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good evening. I'm I'm thinking about you even in the afternoon. Hello, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Oh my goodness. Hello. Yes, I am, but I just arrived at home like uh, two minutes ago. Oh my I'm God. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no worries. I understand. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Nelson, are you there? Oh my goodness. All right, I can see some people got issues with the internet connection. And some people is gonna be a listener, okay. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to the class. How do you feel today? Uh-huh, hello. Oh my goodness, guys, talk to me. How are you? Are you sleeping yet? Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, Good evening. how are you? Mm, hot, <laughs> hot, but the weather <laughs> is very hot. No, no, another, another mean. <laughs> <laughs> be careful be careful but I yeah it's, it's very hot the weather i know i know it's suffocating definitely it's horrible mm -hmm. but maybe it improved maybe i mean <laughs> let's have faith all right so everyone welcome to the class i'm happy to see you here how are you tell me Uh -huh. Hello. Very good, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So it's Wednesday. Let's resist. I know that you might be tired. Trust me, I totally understand. But let's resist a little bit. I know that this has been like a difficult week, a long week. You might be tired, believe me, I totally understand. But let's wake up, okay? And let's be ready to participate, okay? Please. Um, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Yes, no, a little bit. Sorry, though. Oh, my goodness. Quizás le voy a hacer un examen sorpresa, guys. Yo creo que ahí sí se van a despertar. <laughs> right? What happens? ¿Por qué los veo tan dormidos así sin participar? Oh, my goodness. What happens? ¿Qué les han hecho? Tell me. Digital, uh -huh. how, how do you say Regaño en English. <laughs> Lo han regañado, really? Okay. Yes. If you want to say regaño, right? Uh, there are different options, but scolding is the most common one. Scolding. scolding. How do you write that? I'm sending in the chat. Give me a sec. Scolding. That is the noun, regaño. If you want to say the verb, regañar is scold. Or you can say just nag. Okay. Uh, I'm writing in the chat too. Yes, nag or scold. This one is the verb. So, <laughs> did somebody scold you? Yes, no?
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, everyone. Well, uh, uh huh. Yes, I have curiosity. Ah. Not, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, everyone, welcome again. I'm happy to see you here. I know you might be tired, but it's time for the class. Okay, so I will need you guys try to stay awake. Okay, try to stand active try to stay here in the class participating okay so um try to stay here with me okay uh, I don't want you to be like sleeping at the end of the class believe me hasta me doy cuenta si se quedan dormidos o no saben por qué porque al final de la clase Yo termino, todos se van, y cuando me quedo en la personal meeting, <ríe> ahí se quedan algunos. So, y cuando yo les hablo, doesn't, I mean, they don't, they don't answer. So I imagine that they fell asleep. So, eh, I know it's difficult to schedule, yes, but drink coffee or, or something, all right? So we can stay active, all right? Water. Water, okay. If that works for you, perfect. Wine. <laughs> Wine. No, that's why you feel sleepy. Come on. No, wine doesn't work. Coffee or soda, if you want. Water. Red Bull teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dangerous. The doctor said yeah. that no, Red Bull is dangerous for your heart. But I mean, okay, if that works for you, sounds good. But yeah, please, let's try to make an effort, okay? Resist is Wednesday, all right? So I think that we can do it, all right? Now, today we are going to talk about a new topic. We are going to check some vocabulary. And of course, always speaking practice do a, through our role play, okay? That's the agenda for today. So I need you to stay up with me. Okay. Now let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, the chair. Okay. Yes, Excellent. Yes. Very good. Okay. Today is May 25th. Guys, we are in the middle of the week. We are in the week number two, and today we are basically starting the unit number two, okay? So yesterday we checked some vocabulary. Let's see if you remember. What was the meaning of startup? Imagine that this is an exam, so don't look at your notebooks. Try to remember, what is a startup? Letter B. Letter B, when a company just starts, Everybody, do you agree? Yes, they are. Oops, sorry, I agree, sorry. teacher. Is when a company starts. Mm -hmm. Very good. Outsource, do you remember that one? Yeah. Outsource. Let her see. Let her see. All right. Very good. Frustrated. It is feeling annoyed uh -huh. and impatient because you cannot do or yes. my goodness, acquire. <laughs> Achieve. Ah, and that Achieve. was the, the same yes. word as yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Achieve what you want. Achieve. Okay. Tomorrow I will ask you that word. So I will see if you still remember it. So a uh, flawed. What was it? I'm not perfect or correct. Correct. And the last one, last shout, is basically attacked or criticize somebody when you feel like very angry, okay? So these are some of the words that we studied yesterday. Remember, you had to pay attention here. This is indicating you the function that these words have. Startup is a noun, for example. Uh, for example, you can say, this is a startup company. 
Okay. Uh, outsource is the verb. Okay. Uh, I want to outsource my own company. Frustrated, you know, there is an adjective. Oh, I feel frustrated about uh, my exam. Flawed, again, that's an adjective. Uh, something that is not perfect. You can say life is flawed, but beautiful. Lash out is a phrasal verb. So you can use it as a normal verb. So in this case, you can say uh, she lashed out him just because she was very angry. Eh, it's just an example. This is indicating you what is the functions that you will provide them in a sentence. Now let's move on to the next page. Abuse. Do you remember the meaning of abuse? It's made rude or offensive remarks to uh -huh. or about some, somebody. Exactly. And this is a? Yeah. A bear. So you can say, please don't abuse the animals. They also have rights. Then we have, uh, we have steam from, what is that? The result of something. Very good. Again, it's a phrasal verb, okay? I feel panic to earthquake because when I was a child, I steam from a big earthquake that traumatized my mind, <laughs> okay? That can happen. Discrimination, what was it? See, the practice of three, tra tra <laughs> three, <laughs> three, okay, three, 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 Okay, so the practice of treating somebody or a particular group in a society less fairly than others, okay? So discrimination is when you feel superior, right? And you treat the other ones like if they are less, okay? Prejudice, what is that? Better be. Ah, very good. Can you read it, please? Yes, um, unreasonable dislike of or a preference for a person, group, custom, etc., especially when it is based on their race, religion, gender, etc. Very good. Unreasonable. 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 Very good. And the last one, the counterproductive having the opposite effect, okay? You are expecting a result, but suddenly the result is the opposite of the one that you were expecting, okay? This is like when you say on Saturday morning, today is going to be a very productive day. I'm going to do a lot of things. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> but at the end, you woke up at 10 a.m. and you didn't do anything, so you expect one result, but at the end, it didn't happen. And it happens the opposite. So keep in mind the vocabulary, please. I want you to try to use it, right? Not just here in the class. Try to use it in your daily life. Is, any, is there any question about this vocabulary? Or is that it clear? Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Cool. One day, uh, I don't know, but I want to have a test, guys. <laughs> Suddenly, I can give you a test with the vocabulary that we studied in the class. I I'm planning it. I will do it, maybe. Okay. Now, this is the topic for today. Today, we are going to talk about the seven R's in logistics. When we are talking about logistics, there are seven R's that we are going to study today. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to understand the re relevance of the seven R's in logistics. 
Thank you. So we are going to understand what the seven R's stands for and why are they important. Let's start something. Uh, I have some readings. I want to see who wants to be sorry, the teacher. Was, sorry, teacher. What's the meaning RS? Seven RS. Oh, this one is just to indicate the plural. If I say, for example, R, si solo tiene una letra R, yo diría one R. Okay. Si tiene dos R, so I will say R. Oh, okay. So this is just to indicate. Okay, okay thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. All right. Now I need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me? Only two. Who say me? Yo, yo. Ivan, <laughs> thank you. You are the man tonight. And who else? I need another Good volunteer. Evening. Can I? Yes, of course. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, let me open up the conversation. This is on your manuals. Okay. We are going to read this conversation between Alex and Pam. Okay, they are having some issues with the order forms. And let's see what happens. So, Ivan, you will be Alex. And uh, Jamie, you will be Pam. Go ahead. Okay. Sales will, will go down this mob, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from. The website at the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform, inform them of the right storage tempera temperature. 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 Mm -hmm. I already did, but there is some things I have to tell you. One us, one of the crate, what is resonation crates? Crates. Crates. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personality to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. manufacturer. They will know what to do. All right, thank you guys. Very good. So what is the problem in this conversation? Microphones. Uh-huh. What is happening? What is the problem that they had? Delivery to the right distribution centers. Ah, very good. The products were not delivered. Okay, so that's a big issue. So this is a problem of logistic. Okay, so something happens here. So what else? What happened? What happens with the crates? Do you know what the meaning of crate is? I found t-shirt that this box is similar, say box. Exactly. Is correct. Yes, they are synonyms. So you can say crates or box is the same. So what happens with them? Look. Are damaged. Yes. Basically, uh, people didn't handle them correctly. So now the batteries are damaged. Okay, pretty good. Now, when we see this type of problems, we only think that is a logistic problem. So let's analyze the following seven R's, okay? One of the most popular concepts of logistic management is the concept of the seven R. What is the first one? Right? Product. What do you think? What do you understand for the right product? Imagine that you buy something online and the policy yeah. of the company says, I guarantee that you will have the right product. What is that? What do you understand? 
it is good maybe a, a, okay. uh -huh. he first okay go ahead <laughs> come on don't be shy go ahead teacher could be um if we if we are paid for a shirt for example where the warranty for the um, seller is uh, is that um, is w we received the shirt what we what we buy for example very good exactly now right place what is that the address that you put to when you purchase us online mm -hmm. that means that the package will will be delivered in the correct place imagine sometimes the address is san salvador and the package is in la is in usulutan is that the right place no no right customer is very similar to that one right quantity what is that the quantity what i what we pay mm -hmm. imagine if you paid for 10 t-shirts and in the end you receive only five that is not the right quantity right condition what is that That you receive the product in good condition, the box not wrapped, or maybe the package that is in is well. Yeah, when you receive the, the product, or when they deliver you, or maybe when they leave at home. Mm -hmm. Imagine in this case, if you order a tablet, for example, and when you receive it, the tablet is broken. That is mm -hmm. not the right condition. All right. Now, right time. Mm -hmm. Maybe I deliver the products in, in, the, in the on time. On time, exactly. Imagine if the deliver says three days. Eh, and it's two weeks already and nothing, right? So right time. And the last one is the right price. What is that? If you pay more or less than you receive uh -huh. and your bill. Imagine in the end, it says $10, but on your credit card appears that they charge you 25. Wow, that is not the right price, okay? So this is an idea about the concept of the seven R's. Now, here we got some examples. I want you to match the right, I mean, the letter R's with the examples and definitions that I have here. Look at the number one says, Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days if the customers can get it, uh, I'm sorry, can get it within two days from some other company. What do you think, what is that? Maybe right time. Yeah. Right time. What do you think, guys? Do you agree with it? Yes. Yes, no? right time. Right time. Everyone. Wake up. I can see some people are not here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to ask individual if you don't participate, okay? Pretty good. Okay, uh, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the second one. You're not sharing, teacher, the screen. What? Okay, give me a second. Let me share it again. Okay, how about now? No. Can you no. see? No, I can't. No. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't know what is happening. 
Okay, let me change my connection. Maybe that is a little bit. Okay, small. guys, we have some technical problems. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. I see Do you want? All right, I see rapidly. Everybody is wake up. <laughs> now you wake up. Ah, ahora ya sé la technique that I need to use. Okay. Say bye bye. <laughs> okay, exam time. This is going to be the exam. I'm trying, but I don't know if it is working. I mean, now, now it's now. I, ah, I see. <laughs> great. Okay, thank you. We are here. <laughs> All right. Es que los estaba probando, guys. Solo quería que despertara. All right. Now, so we are going to uh, continue. I'm sorry. So in the number one, again, Amazon must ensure that the products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from some other companies. So what is that? Do you remember? Again? It's right time. Right time. Right time. Teacher. Yeah. I don't understand the sense of the of the statement. Okay. Um, mainly the the word within. Ah, okay. Within. Anybody? Do you know the meaning of within? With yes? not like with not. Mm, that is without. That is without. Yes. Mm -hmm. Within is like inside or dentro de un plazo, right? O en, like the preposition in. For example, I can say the products are delivered in two days or within two days. Yes? But within yes. is like you can receive it in two days or in one day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's como un plazo que ellos les dan. Right? Dentro, so, say. Dentro de dos días. Uh -huh. So basically that. It's like to say, en dos días o dentro de dos días. O en un plazo de dos días. Okay? Teacher. Yep. It can be right condition too. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why? Because the condition if the customer can get it within two days. I like that. So guys, I'm going to, I'm writing your answers. So some people say right time and some people say right condition. We are going to read the other definitions and in the end, do decide, okay? Now I need a volunteer please for reading the number two. Only one. I did you, I did you. Thank you, go ahead. Dell must have a strict controls and processes to ensure that product ordered on their website are delivered to the right locations. What is that? Place. Place. Right place? Yes. Anyone, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I am. Okay, let's uh, see. Teacher, is I am or? Yes, I, I agree, right? I if do. I, yes. If I ask you, do you agree? You can say, I do. Okay? I no, do. I am. We never use the verb to be with, I agree. Okay. The second Thank one you. could be a right customer instant cost. When you receive a package, you saw your name. You see, I'm sorry, you see your name on the, what is the name? Like on the estampilla. Stamp? on the stamp actually and of course if it's not your name you won't open it mm, okay so some people say right place some people will say right customer we are going to see the idea is to read all of them and then we are going to check what is the correct answer now uh, number three volunteer for reading me teacher yes please Grocers has to meet quantity requirement from their customers and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perisability. 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 So in this case, everybody, what do you think? 
Right, quantity. Yes, quantity. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. So I'm going to write it here. If you have another opinion, I can write it too, okay? Write quantity. Okay. What else? Number four, please, volunteer. Oh, sorry, by the way, perishability. What is that? Any idea? Perishability. I, I don't know how to explain, but it's when it, it has a long life to be. Fired. In this case, exactly. Imagine that if you buy some chicken, <laughs> I mean, not the, the animal alive, but the food, chicken, and you don't eat it, right? Do you think that that chicken will last a lot of time? It's time to expire, teacher. Exactly. So we can say that there are some products that are perishability, right? Like perecederos. That's the one. And number four, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rosalina. Rosalina oh. and the number five, Hector. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. My local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in packages and label bottles and to a book 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 consum cons excuse me book book consumer in big cans all right so what is that guys uh, right condition the right condition in my opinion, it's product. Mm, me too. It's right product. I think it's right product. I think. Okay. Right. right. Product. product. Do you have any other idea? Yes? No? Okay. Or right quantity. Right quantity. Right quantity. All right. If you say that. Imagine that this is an exam. Then we are going to see which is the correct answer and how much will be your score. I'm reading the chat. Uh, In the chat says, right customer. customer. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me a second. Right customer. Okay. Ah, so we have three options there. Okay. Okay. Number five, volunteer for reading. Oh, Hector, right? Go ahead. Okay, um, Samsung must ensure that their mob mobiles are charged charge with charge eh, with the corresponding price to retailer, the store, and customer. Mm -hmm. What is that? Right price. <laughs> right price. All right, right price. Oops. Do you have any other idea, guys? <clears throat> Sorry. Any other idea? No? Okay. Number seven, volunteer. Oh, sorry, number six. What do you think? Okay, me? Yes, please. Products that the customers... Sorry. Products sorry. that the customer... Like, I'm sorry, I don't know what happens to my to my don't worry, don't worry, teacher. Okay. Products that the customer needs either today or in the future, smartphones, laptops, HD, TVs, etc. Thank you. Uh-huh. What do you think? This is the right product. Right product. <laughs> yeah. Right this is right the product, right product, definitely. Yeah. All right. Don't so it's okay. the right customer. Right product. So we already have a, let's see, I have already right product in the number four. Yes. Hmm. So do you want to eliminate that option from here? Yes, because yes, I do. Yes, yes, sure. maybe it's right Actually, customer, for as, me, as a Christian said, right, right customer. condition for me. For me, the number four is right condition. <laughs> really? Absolutely. 
<laughs> okay. I'm fine. fine. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going, sure. Now, okay, teacher. in the number four, right condition. Okay, let we me are confused. <laughs> what happens is that you are not carefully reading, guys, and that is something that I already identified. Mm -hmm. You are just reading for reading, but you need to pay attention in the little details. And I will give you the example, and you will see that. Okay, you will if see that. There, I think the number three. Is right condition in the number three is right condition because right. the grocer. All right, I'm going to write it right condition. So, guys, if this is your exam, ya vamos a ver cuánto se saca. Okay, I'm going to move it. Eh, se va a ver un poquito desordenado, but no worries, I'm going to fix it later. Number seven, volunteer for reading, please. Uh, me teacher, good yes. again. Yes. H E L has to warranty the sufficient. My microphone failed. <laughs> that I'm, not, I'm not the only one, huh? <laughs> yes. Has the warranty that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivered to customers. Uh-huh, what is that? It's the right quantity. Is the right quantity? Yes. Yes, it's quantity. Right. Yes, it's quantity. And I already have one quantity in two other options. <laughs> For oh me, the God. last one is right, uh, right place right place and i already yes. have right place over here now no, right quantity let me, me. It's, it's quantity. <laughs> it's let fun. me let me double <laughs> again the document and we are going to compare because the space is not enough okay i'm going to double the documents so we can compare and if you see this is the way that you decided right now so in the end what is the number seven quantity i think I right quantity yeah. okay now let's try to read it carefully okay we're not sharing again i know se me borraron las respuestas entonces but i take the screenshot <laughs> <laughs> oh, i know do you take the screenshot yes i don't no no I... teacher ahora ya no voy a saber cuánto se sacaron man try again <laughs> okay, but read it carefully. Uh, ¿sí están viendo lo que comparto? Yes, can you see it? Yes, yes. I found yes. a yeah. screenshot of this teacher, but I don't know if I can share it or not. <laughs> wow. Do it, do it, please. But uh, well, if you give me one point for the sound, <laughs> if you give me one point, I'm gonna share it. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you my I will give you my love. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's read it carefully. Yo creo que ahorita están un poquito distraídos, okay, a little sleepy. So look at the number one. Amazon is a company, okay? We are giving examples. Must ensure that the products are delivered. This is one condition, okay? They will send it within two days to all the customers. No, and this is, look, I don't know if you remember grammar topic. If, ¿cuánto usamos if? It's a condition. Ah, a condition. so what would be the correct answer here? Uh, I think that Christian said that. Uh-huh. What is the R? Is right. Customer. It's customer. Condition. Cuando usamos el if, when we are giving a condition. condition. And what is the condition here? That if you find in another website the same product, the same price, but the other company is sending you in two days, so they say, hey, no, that's not possible. I have to do it too. So that's the right condition okay? okay so you see aquí está la clave pero no me están leyendo con mucha atención ahorita my goodness 
Now let's move on to the number two. In the number two, it says, hey, hold on, I'm, I'm waiting for, it's not loading. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the picture. Thank you, Erika. Can you see the picture that Erika sent? Yes? Yes. Okay, habían dicho right time y solo uno dijo right condition, okay? So far, so good. Then in the number two, algunos dijeron right place and right customers. Okay, let's find out the answer. Read carefully. Del, again, we are talking about a company. The idea is to use the examples to identify the right answer. So, Del must have strict controls, okay, um, and process to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered where? Locations. In the Place. right, uh, what? Place. 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 So Place. if I say location, ¿qué se les viene a la mente cuando digo location? The address or the... Is the right? Uh huh. Location. Place. 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 Right. Place. Right. Place. Exactly. And you were saying. Place or not? <laughs> you were saying. Place. Um, algunos dijeron place. Good job. Hay otros que dijeron customers. And les voy a dar el beneficio de la duda, right? Yeah, of course, because sometimes if we are talking about uh, customers we can think about their address, right? So, 50-50. Mm, now, number three, grocers. So what do you mean or what do you think it is the meaning of grocers in this scenario? Could be, could be a place, a market like... Um, uh, retails. Yeah, that's it. A grocer is just like in Spanish when we say una tienda, right? Like a store. That's it. It's a grocer. So it says grocer has to meet what? Here we got the answer. Look, what? Quantity. <laughs> so if I'm talking about quantity, look, it is not even necessary to continue reading the rest of the sentence. If I already am talking about quantity, what is the correct answer? Right quantity. Look. Right quantity. So according to your answers, uh, well, the number three is correct. You say right quantity. Thank you. Very good. Llevan uno ahorita. Number four, a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers. ¿De qué estamos hablando aquí, guys? What am I talking about here? Mm -hmm. It says, may sells ketchup to retailers in a package and labeled bottles uh, to a bulk customers in big cans. What am I talking about here? Different size. Different size, yes. So what comes to your mind? Am I talking about the customer? Am I talking about uh, uh, the time? What am I talking about? What do you right think? Customer. Customer. Right. Maybe, customer. Right. customer. Maybe it's speaking about customer because it's explaining about the, pre the preference of uh -huh. the customers. Uh -huh. uh, someone prefer packaging in, in bottles and other prefer package in the bulk. bulk. That's it? Exactly. So or maybe T-shirt is a customer that sell, for example, retailers or poor sell. That is different side that you can find different so labeling. We, 
we are just checking their preferences. Not all the customers are the same. Not everybody is asking the same. So right customer here in the number four, you have right condition, right quantity, right customers. So guys, again, what we need is to read a little bit more carefully, okay? Number five, Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged, okay? This is the keyword, charge with the corresponding, another keyword, prices to the retailer's stores and customer. What is that? Right, right. Right, right, right. Ah, ya ven que cuando lo leen con cuidado, yeah. es más fácil yes. Es. yes or no? <laughs> yes, yes. But what happens is the following, guys. And this is a mistake that most of us have. When your classmate is reading, we are not paying attention. It's like, él está leyendo, que preste atención él, porque él es el que tiene que pronunciar bien, right? And we are just not so or enough focused on what his or her is reading. Be careful. Now, in your answers, let's see number five. Right yeah. price, <laughs> yes, that was good. Number six, okay, in the number six, you say right products, let's see if it is true. Um, products, well, <laughs> look, in this case, since the moment that we say product here, we got the answer. Products that the customer needs, either today or in the future. ¿De qué estoy hablando? What am I talking about here? We're talking about the products. Yes, so we are talking about the right products. Okay, that was easy. And in the last one, H-U-L. Do you know what H-U-L stands for? What is the name of the company? I don't know. It's not. Anyone? This is Unilever. Do you know that company? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Unilever or HUL has to guarantee that the sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure what? Rep time safety. Right, right time, time delivery to the customer. So what am I talking about? Right time. Uh -huh. Right time. And that's it. Okay. These are the seven R's. I'm going to give you guys more reading comprehension exercises. Okay. <laughs> the secret is read slow. It's not necessary. I'm not asking you to do the exercise very fast. No, relax. Okay. Read it slow and try to understand. Okay. The key, and this is something that helps me try to identify the key words. It's not even necessary, guys, to understand the full paragraph. Just the key words. So now you can take a screenshot, please and keep the, uh, the seven R's in mind, okay? Now, uh, if we are talking about these seven R's, which one do you consider that are the most important for you? If you will buy a product online, for example, what are the three R's that for you are the most important? What do you think? Well, Actually, all of them are important. So important. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you have to pick only three, which one will you value more? Could I choose two? Maybe customer and product. You take care of your customer and you care of the product. You have a business. So right customer, right product. Okay, and you guys, if you had to pick three, which one would it be? All, 
all the seven right? <laughs> but you can pick only three. For me, teacher, right product, right price, and right quantity. Mm, okay, right product, right price, right quantity. Mm, okay. For me, teacher, I think that right product, right condition, and right price. All right. So you see, not everybody picked the same. So for example, some of you can say, no, I need right time. Imagine that you buy a product online. Some people might think, ah, it's okay if the product doesn't come in two days. I mean, I can wait. But some other people, they are not like that. There's no, two days, I want it. And if it is not here in two days, there will be a problem. Some other people might think, right quantity, ah, uh, I asked for five, I got three, ah, uh, it's okay, I'm just going to buy the other two. Not all the people is the same, right? But as your classmate says, the seven R's are totally important. Is it clear the meaning, guys, of the seven R's? Yes. Yes, teacher, clear. Yes, of yes, course. Teacher. <laughs> I will ask you in the exam. Okay. Did you pass the exam tonight? No, pass. No, teacher. <laughs> I, wa I was passed. <laughs> we have to read carefully. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, guys. La calle de la amargura. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, a Ville Street. <laughs> yeah. Street. You burst, you burst to me. Yeah. Or a street. <laughs> oh Just Christian passed the exam teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ah, maybe he was the only one who was paying attention in the reading. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Now we are going to check some vocabulary. All right. And we are going to see also some problems that can happen when we are talking about logistics. And then we are going to have role plays. Okay. Can you see what I'm sharing, right? No. No. Me están hackeando, guys. ¿Quién de ustedes es? <laughs> My goodness. Ivan Petrovic said to me what today <laughs> I ah, class. Hi, hi, Angel. Ivan is the man. <laughs> no. Yes, he is the man. Ivan, don't do it. Okay, logistic in Not transportation. <laughs> okay, now. If you are talking about products, if you are talking about logistics, it's important to consider the transportation, right? There are many aspects that in transportation can include. Here we got some vocabulary. What is the meaning of clear? What is that? The taxes? I'm sorry? Pay the taxes? No. Pay taxes? Yeah. Everybody, do you agree? No. The no. products, it's a, the, the transportations and conditions, uh, sanidad, sanity. Mm. All right. If this you... is. Uh huh. Remember, talking about logistic and transportation what comes to your mind this is not about an adjective or when you say i had to clean my house it's not related it's different in my opinion is same to to uh, in the army they say it's clear when when the action is finished for example when the the uh, I don't say, how do you say them? The, um, I, I forget the, the word. When el flete, how do you say when? I don't know what flete is. <laughs> is is when you put inside the truck every one of the of the package of the packages. When you finish to to put inside container. all the all the boxes, is a flete the cargo. Ah, cargo. Oh. It's clear when you finish the order. When you finish the order, they said it's clear. Ah, okay. 
That makes sense. It's, it's related. So for example, this is a combination. Okay, when you finish an action, as your classmate said, but if we are talking about it, when you buy a product or you are in the process of transportation, we are talking about payment. Okay, for example, you know, um, I will send you the product when I receive the money. money, right? So I will send it to you when you clear. If you translate it, it's like cuando me liquiden, right? First pay me and then I will complete the transaction. Now, this patch, what do you understand about this patch? Delivery. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? This patch? Place, teacher, place where the products sell. Okay, this is depends, right? But if you are talking about the place, the most common one is like dispatcher. It is kind of a, when you send something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe a difference orders uh, the the customers. Hmm. But in this case, it's more like another way to say send right you are sending a package that means that you dispatch the package okay it is it is a verb yes it is basically all of them are like uh, like verbs we are going to see the examples no worries handle what is handle 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 Uh-huh. Imagine that I have I mean. a, a product that is very, very fragile. And I say, please, you have to handle this product, but carefully with your life. Yes, I saw in this, in some book. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. handle. It, it is is a um, be careful to move Carry or something. to move it, exactly. So what will be the translation of handle? Manejo. Exactly, mm -hmm. to Drive deal <laughs> with that, exactly. So again, these are verbs, all right? Now, place, what is that? I'm not talking about a place like, ah, San Salvador, no as a verb what do you think could, could be a synonyms of put put yeah that, yes that's it very good i can say uh, put the cell phone on the table or place the cell phone on the table okay it's like a synonym very good now we have ship as a noun it has a meaning but as a verb is different. What would it be? Um, maybe could verb. be the shipment. Yes. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm listening to people at the same time. Can you repeat? Women's fairs. I believe it's a verb. It's a verb, yes. In this context, we are using them, all of them, as a verb, okay? Keep in mind it. Imagine that in this context, all of them are verbs. So if I want to use sheep as a verb, what would be the meaning? What do you think? Sheep. Sheep. It's like a uh, naviera. Mm, but that is not a verb. Maybe could be when you put in into a chip, a chip or ship, a ship, right? Okay, but mm -mm. it's similar to this <laughs> patch. If I'm not wrong, it's kind of yes, same. Exactly. Like yes, exactly. It's that the same to say shipment, chip, shipment, but it's a, a very ship. Mm, or... No. Okay. In this case, guys, don't get confused. In simple words, ship 
is basically a synonym of dispatch, deliver, send, okay? They are synonyms. What happens, guys, is normally send is used in one scenario. When we say dispatch, ship, we are talking about delivery. Okay. That's a little bit different. When we are talking about transportation, when we are talking about sending packages, these are more common words to use it even when the meaning is the same, okay? Now, unload, what do you think? What is that? Unload. When you pick something. When you pick something. Okay, close. Well, it could be when you put some things outside the truck or outside the container. Exactly, that is the one. You have a lot of packages in your car and you need to put it inside of your house. What is the first thing that you need to do? You need to unload all of the packages from the car and then move it inside of the house. So that is the meaning of unload. Got it? Yes? Vocabulary, guys. I know that it might be a little bit confusing, but remember, we need to memorize them. Let's see some examples, and then I think that it will be a little bit clearer to use them. Now, look at the first sentence. We are going to complete the sentence with the words. Let's see the first ones. It's normally, I'm sorry, it normally takes five extra business days to ship international orders. Okay, what is the meaning of ship in this scenario? According to the sentence, what do you understand? Sam? Yes. So imagine you have a company, you sell cheese, okay? Vendemos queso salvadoreño, right? But there are some people from United States, they want your product. ¿Cuánto tiempo se tardarían en enviar el queso a Usulután, for example? What do you think? Two hours. Yes. A couple of hours. Exactly, but how much time is going to take to send it to the United States? Mm, a lot, right? It can take days. So what is saying the sentence that if you want to ship international orders is going to take more time. In this case, to ship is like to send, okay? They are like synonyms. Now in the number two, you will receive the goods. What is the meaning of goods? in this yeah. scenario. Oh, exactly, products, objects, okay? So the goods 30 days after you, ta, 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 your order. Clear. 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 And what is the meaning of clear in this scenario? Fail. To finish. Ah, <laughs> when you finish, fail. Will you receive your package if you didn't pay? No. no. Never. I don't think <laughs> any company do that, right? So in this case, clear is a verb. And in this scenario, the meaning is similar to pay. I'm going to give you the package after you pay your order, okay? Number three, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. Okay, it says in order to <laughs> the goods, how custom the driver had to show important documents like invoices and important licenses. Thank you. Hmm, interesting. What do you think? Dispatch. 
Dispatch. Dispatch. Yes. This unload. Maybe it's unload because okay. they because the driver had to show them the the document and etc. Ah, yes. very good. So that is the one. And load. Mm -hmm. You cannot take the product if you don't see the right documents. All right. Unload. Very good. Number four, volunteer, please, for reading. I have a doubt. Okay, go ahead. With it's for vocabulary and voices. What is that? What it means? All right. Have you ever seen that word, guys? In voice? When you buy a product, right, uh, you pay $10, what do you receive? The bill. Exactly, the bill. right? You read a piece of paper, and that piece of paper says the name of the product and how much you pay for it. So in order that the delivered unload the product, you need to show documents. Like which one? Like the invoices. That means the bill to share or to show, to prove that you already pay for it. Okay? Is it clear what invoices is? Yes, it is clear. It is same um, what ticket. Exactly. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number four, please. Volunteer for reading. When our or order finally, finally, finally are, are revealed, arrived, arrived. Arrived. arrived, it took a few hours to the goods from the delivery truck. Uh -huh. What would it be? Dispatch. 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 Uh -huh. Good job. Now. What would it be the next one? Volunteer for reading. Okay. Twice a week take clothes from the company warehouses to its locator retail store. What do you think? Place. Place. Okay. Twice a week, they place clothes from the company warehouse to its local retail stores. Pretty good. And the last one, volunteer for reading. These goods are very fragile, so you need to handle them with care. Handle them. Very good. Them. So they need to be very careful with it right so it's a little bit clearer the meaning of these words yes yes of course <laughs> ready for the exam yes ready only one says ready thank you ivan and the rest of you guys ready for the yes, exam we are. Only yes we are yes we are <laughs> okay, here is the exam, and I'm not kidding. Okay, so guys, pick two words and create a sentence, please. Send it on WhatsApp's group, only two. I'm not asking you to use all of them, all right? Only two. Remember that these are verbs. You have to use them as verbs. Pick only two, the ones that you prefer, and then create a sentence and send it on WhatsApp group. So only two sentences. And don't forget to add your names. Okay, go ahead. Only two sentences. If you're if your answers are correct, algunos tuvieron 96 <laughs> en la unidad 1. Si tienen, si tienen buena nota, si las oraciones están correctas, se las voy a poner a 100. A todos los que tengan 96 on the platform, unit 1. Okay? 
Go ahead. Yeah. Teacher? Yeah. Sorry, I have. Uh, what is the activity? Pick two verbs from okay. this and just write a sentence using the verbs. Okay, teacher. Yes. Easy, cheesy, guys. Don't complicate too much. Easy. Remember guys, something nice, they are verbs. That means that you can use them in the grammar tense that you prefer. If you want to use it in present, in past, in future, the ones that you prefer. Actually, it will be interesting if you use it in past, maybe. And don't forget, these verbs are easy. All of them are regulars, okay? So if you want to use it in another grammar tense, ED, that's it. Don't forget to add your names, please, when you send it. Teacher, uh, yes. in my statement, I, I, I wrote, Ivan, don't forget to unload those boxes. Is same to unload or unloading? Mm, can you repeat, please? Okay. Um, Ivan, don't forget, um, don't forget to unload those boxes, please. Yeah, that's good to unload. If you add if, the preposition to, you don't need changes. If I if I write ing without to, it's correct too. To avoid unloading, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead, instead to unload, I can say unload. Because unloading is correct too. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> no problem. Okay, everyone. Don't forget to write your names. If you have a question, just let me know, please.
this is your exam. Okay, I can see interesting sentences right now. Don't forget that these are verbs. So if we are talking in third person, simple present, okay? We need changes. If you are using simple present, third person, don't forget it. These are verbs. You said that, you said mm -hmm. those are irregular verbs, right? Regulars, yes. Irregular, okay. R regulars, yes. You just need to add ed if you want to say it in simple past. Okay, very good. I can see interesting sentences. Now, if your answers are correct, okay, I will change your score on the platform. Uh, let me show you. For example, hmm, but only if your answers are correct. If I see a mistake, no. Look at here. There are some people on the platform that is only 96. There are some people that has 94. So, si tienen de 90, se los hago llegar al 100. Okay? Pero si no, no. <laughs> All right. Um, don't forget to send it, please. Now, while you are sending the sentences, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your name, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. All right. Germán eh, Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Who? Isabel Hernandez. Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ivan Guzman. Present. Okay, Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, Holman Saul. Present. Okay, Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay, eh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Nelson. Okay, very good. Um, Oscar Armando. Present. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. Sí. All right. Very good. Now, Talking about the logistic, we already checked that we can have, <clears throat> sorry, some issues, right? Remember the seven R's. We can have the wrong price. We can have the wrong time, the wrong place, the wrong quantity. Yes, we can have different issues. All right, so we are going to have some role plays and we are going to see some of the issues that we can have. So look at this. We are going to have the first students. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, cool. okay. Okay, the student A, imagine that you are the customer, okay? Imagine that you bought a product through Amazon, for example. But now you are calling to customer service because they send, what happens here? The wrong package. So what do you think? ¿Qué letra R falló aquí? What is the mistake? Condition. No, it's product. Ah, product. Did I have the right product? Mm, not really. The right? wrong product. Exactly. Imagine here, you ordered, what did you order? A Harry Potter's 
book. But you didn't receive the Harry Potter's book. What did you receive? Faithful Town. <laughs> Imagine, so you receive another book named Peaceful Thoughts. That is not what you ordered. That is not the right product. So you will call to customer service, explain the situation, and tell them how you feel about it. Student B, you will be the customer service agent, okay? Try to offer a solution to the customer. In this role play, I want you to invent the solution, okay? You can tell them like, uh, it's okay, I'm going to send you the book and I will give you a discount or it's gonna be totally free. Y se pueden quedar con el peaceful thoughts if you want. I don't know, invent a solution, okay? Try to be a nice agent, please. Is it clear the role play? Yes? Yes, it's clear. All right, now it's up to you the kind of customers that you wanna be, okay? If you want to be an angry customer, okay, do it. If you want to be a nice customer, much better, that's great. So it's up to you. This is the first scenario, okay? We are going to have three different role plays tonight. I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp's group and you can switch, okay? First, one of you is going to be the agent and later the other one is going to be the customer, okay? I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group. Give me a second. Okay, that is the first one. Now, I'm going to give you a second role play so you can switch. The other role play is about what happens here. You order a laptop and what happens to the laptop? Uh -huh. I not received it yet. You haven't received it yet. So which R is not working here? Time. Ah, the right time. time. So you need the laptop, what? Urgently. Urgently. Because imagine you need to work. You work from home. You need the laptop in order that you can do your job. Again, the student B, you're going to be the agent. Try to search a solution for the customer. Understand the role, please? Yes? Clear, everybody? Clear. Absolutely, I like that. Okay, perfect. Don't forget, you can switch. First of all, in the first scenario, student A. In the second scenario, the student A will be the student B. Zero Spanish in this moment and try to look for good solutions. No se van a poner a pelear, please. Okay, let's try to be respectful all the time. All right, you will be in groups. There are some people that they are just listeners. Okay. And remember, you can switch. Just a moment. I'm creating the groups, give me a second. Everybody enter to the groups, please. Sometimes there are people that they never enter to the rooms. I want to everybody participate. Okay, pretty good, let's go to work. Uh -huh. Who's here? Hello, hello. 
Who's here? Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi. Adriana. Okay, Hi. Mr. Hi. Okay, Mr. Hernandez, are you there? I think it's a girl. Hello, hello. Okay, I have some teams uh, with few people. I'm going to send you to that team. Okay, no okay. worries. Thank Give you. Me a You're welcome. Or the... Okay, I call I call it you. Okay, okay. Hi, <laughs> good morning. Oh, Fatima. I want to. Come to. I want to say the custom. I. You want to to role play customer service or or just customer? Uh huh. Just customer. Okay. Okay. Poor okay, poor. Rosalina, you are customer service. Yeah. <laughs> Fatima Thank called you. you. <laughs> Thank you. And then, okay. I, and then the second night. Okay. okay. Ring, ring. Hello. What, what? Um. Amazonas, may I help you? In Amazon, dijo. Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I answer you <laughs> again, again. Ring, okay, ring. Okay. <laughs> uh, good morning. Did you call Amazon? May I help you? Hello. I can help with my package. Uh, okay. Could you tell me about what happened with your package? Um, it don't receive yet, and um, and was very very time off. Ah, uh, mm hmm. Uh, could you give me a a day when you supposed to receive this package, please? for checking in my computer. I order uh, the first to the first on May. First on May? Oh, okay. Uh, let me check. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, uh, could you repeat your name, please? Fatima Aguilar. Okay, Fatima Aguilar. Eh, Miss Aguilar, uh, we give you, we are apologize because if the plane have some problems to deliver your package, eh, could you give us give um two days more? And then you pick up your package. For that reason, in this in the next in the next order, you our company give a discount for you. Are you agree? If um if no, can be <laughs> <laughs> if can be mm -hmm. um it can be before two days because it's urgent. Mm, right now, I I see my my computer in the road of the plane. Uh, the plane is already in Miami, and then to um, to uh, translate the package in another plane, uh, more or less San Salvador City. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, watch TNT. We can watch okay. it every day, <laughs> all week. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait me a, a moment. I, I. It is hold I, on, hold on, Hector, hold on. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. It's a uh, wait. Wait a moment. Yes, it's wait. It's like, yes, but it's. But it's when you're calling. 
when you are calling to someone, uh, when you are, yeah, calling with, with someone, you can use hold on. It's better oh. when you are, you, when you are working in the call center, actually is the, is the most oh. beautiful phrase that you're ever going to say. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> it's Thank wait. You. A meaning at peace. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I need I need to see in, in my in my inventory inventory if uh have the your your book Harry Potter number seven uh Del Del no sé cómo se dice en inglés. But okay, okay. I I sorry. No, nothing. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Uh, can I send you uh, the next week, and you can uh, conserve a whole hold hold the another book if you want, mm -hmm. because it yep. is this this is uh, expensive. Could be, could be Hector, Hector. Could be you can keep. Yeah. Could be you can keep. Ah, in Tokyo, que se va ahí. Yeah. <laughs> you have a problem. It's my, it's my, Guys, <laughs> don't forget that you are in a phone call. <laughs> Imagine that this is a real phone call. Okay, be careful. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, Adriana, uh, yeah. wait, wait for one week. You have in your hand uh, the the Harry Potter, and I um, I must send. Disculpas, um, uh, sorry, no, not remember who say. Apologize, no. I'm I'm uh, sorry, sorry for for this uh, confusion. No, confusion is uh. Inconvenient? Inconvenient. 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 Uh, inconvenient. Yeah. But I, I I think or try uh, try another another member the, the world. Um mercy, but I don't know how to say mercy. Mercy. Misericordia? No. Uh, <laughs> como decir, uh, Como pedir disculpas. Apologize. 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 <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my ship is very, very slow. Sorry. Don't worry. Okay, Erica, help us. Okay. The next okay. 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 You're gonna be my you're gonna be my customer and I'm gonna be the service agent. Okay. The next okay. <laughs> you have to wait online. I have I have prepared the music. <laughs> okay. Who wanna be you, Alexander, and, and who wanna be your partner? Uh, in the second one? Yes, maybe. Uh, okay. And uh, you are the customer service agent. Can you offer a solution to a customer? Ah no, we already do did that, right? I don't hear you, sorry. But you can do it again. Just switch. Okay. Right I, I'm going to call to to Magdaleno. So now okay. you are the, the customer. You call hey, I'm a, a customer you service have... employee, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want Petrovic Petrovic is the sound Petrovic. effect, sound effect mm -hmm. for you, I, I buy. Come on. Hey. hey, hello. You are calling to customer service. How can we help you? Hello, good morning. I have some problem and I I am looking for a solution. Can you help me, please? Yes, of course. Tell me what is the problem. Uh, listen, I some days ago I ordered a laptop in online in your online store. Uh, actually, for to be exactly one week ago, and I haven't received it yet. And you know, I I am waiting, and for me it's unnecessary. But I I 
I, I didn't have this product in my house right now. Yeah. What is the, the, can you give me a tracking or just help me? Where is my product? I need it. Okay, uh, I get it. You you order uh, a product a, a week year a week uh, one week ago is right? Yes. And yes. you don't a, a laptop. Oh, a laptop, and you haven't received yet, is right? Yes, yes. I am waiting for that. Okay. Do you have your order number? Yes. Just give me a second. I I'm looking for. Okay, do you, uh, can you give me that, please? Right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, please give me a second. I will check where is your package. Okay. Just see. Okay. Look, I am checking. I am checking what your package is. Is um, in road is in uh, road to your home, and your package yeah. will be with you um, tomorrow in hours in the morning. Ah, uh, in hours of the morning. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, but it's it can be. Are you sure of that? Yes, I am. Okay, okay, because uh, if there is not, if my product is not here in my home tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to call you again to uh, to resolve it. Yes, uh, of course you can you can call back, and if your product is not in your home at your home tomorrow in the morning, you can call back and please take note of your. Um, of your uh, case number. Okay. I I think the 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 near um you because uh, I because I know I know I know happy with this problem you can give me another another option could be a discount this coin for the next um, for the next push pushman or another option yes yes uh, uh we understand that so In the, in your in your next in your next purchase 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 I'm going to 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 give you a a gift. Okay, this is yes. good. This is good yes. because. <laughs> yes, uh, sorry. Yes, we are working in that. I I think. Uh, the Saturday is is the most possible. Okay, uh, I'll be waiting for for the laptop, um, and I I loyalty customer for your companies, and I yes. But I but I disagree. I can I I need the, the the laptop today because it's it's my it's for my job. I need the laptop. It's not it's not my fault. It's it's the Amazon fault, and I need to work. And if you told me that two or three days, maybe I don't know what happened. Yes, Miss I I apologize, but uh, I be everything as possible for for um send the package in the two or three days maximum okay but uh, are you sure because i i i i i i wait for three more days i can wait 
but yes, if you, don't if worry. you, if we, you are we, sure we send the package okay two or three days more okay. and the next uh the next um what order <laughs> <laughs> next order <laughs> you will receive a discount extra how much and, discount i will receive in the in my next order that I yes how much and apologize oh. but how much discount how much or, or what kind of discount i i i will receive for the next order 50% 50% okay yes. okay okay and what can, what what can i do for for that uh, for the 50% or just all right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Aha, very interesting answers I was listening to. Okay, let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Let's go back, everyone. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, you are difficult customers. Hmm? I see it already, difficult customers. All right, time's up everyone. How was the role play, easy or difficult? Nice. Nice? Funny. Guys, <laughs> I have difficult customers here. Oh my goodness. You yeah, transform man. yourself. Yeah. Difficult customer. I was scared too. <laughs> I have to imagine two, two roles, teacher. First the customer service and then the customer. <laughs> uh, that was your... actually actually I wonder found. <laughs> Did you imagine in my case, I was the service agent and my customer wants the product and the money back. Imagine. <gasps> Who was your customer? Hector and Adriana, my yeah. goodness. My goodness, guys, wow. All right, now, did your uh, customers um, had an agreement with you at the end? Yes. Yes, I think uh, he was. So the customer at the end was happy with the solution that you provide or not really? Yes. Was happy? Yes? Yes. That's All a right. big deal. <laughs> I mean, Mirna, you were difficult to convince, but I like that. Now, I have a, I was listening to some conversations that you had. Guys, what was the difficult part to be the customer or to be the agent? But of them. <laughs> Why? You have you have to invent a case that you don't know. Look, something that I was identifying here is the questions. Okay. I was listening all kind of questions with affirmative sentences. For example, some people say, eh, you received your package yesterday? Is that a question? No, it That's is affirmative. You, you, you need an auxiliary. Exactly. A... Or some people say, so you will send the package tomorrow? Is that a question? No, I was listening to many affirmative sentences that you are trying to say it as a question. So be careful with that. We need to practice asking questions structure. Look at the first, let's see some details I was listening to. First of May. 
How can I say the date in English? No. May, May, May. Ah, so first of all, prepositions on May first. Okay. Wait me a moment. Remember that in this case, guys, wait me. It's like a literal translation from Eng from Spanish into English. So can I say, wait me a moment? Wait a moment. Some option could be no. hold on or give me a sec. Or... Yes. Give me a second. Give me a you moment. can say, hold on, give me a second, give me a moment, please. But wait, wait a me. moment. Mm -hmm. Wait a moment. That much better. Wait a moment. But wait me. Mm -mm. Okay. Now. Uh we can use wait for me but what happens guys if you say wait for me this is like for example imagine that you are in metro centro right and you are waiting your friend but your friend is in the middle of the traffic so you say hey i'm hungry hurry up so your friend will say hey wait for me i'm in the middle of the traffic that's the meaning and the scenario where I can use wait for me. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, true. If you are asking the customers to stay online while you are doing an action, in that case, you can ask for a moment. Wait a moment, hold on, hold on a second, give me a minute, but no wait for me. Okay? Wait for me is most para alcanzar a alguien, right? So, hey, wait for me, right? Now, can you help me, please? Can I say that? No. No, no, it's just bad. So, what is the correct one? Help. Ah, help. help. Listen, we are intermediate, guys. One letter is mispronounced, the change can totally change the meaning. I mean, remember, digan papá sin unir los labios. Let's see. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> can we do that? No. No. So, help. Tenemos una letter P here. So, si quieren pronunciar bien esa palabra, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? We need to. Put the lips together, help. Can you help me please? Help, help. Put your lips together. Si unen los labios, la van a pronunciar bien. Okay, help, help. Now, I will check where is your package. Is that correct? I will check. Your packet is your packet. Is this a question or affirmative sentence? It's affirmative. Okay, if it is affirmative, where do I need the verb to be? Before or after the subject? Where is your packet? Could you explain? Oh. I don't understand. Okay, look at this. La oración es en afirmativo o es una pregunta? Affirmative. It's affirmative. ¿Qué estamos tratando de decir? Okay, voy a revisar a dónde está su paquete. Yes? So, but what happens here? Where is your package? Esta oración I tiene understand. la estructura de una question. And it is not a question. For the verb to be, is right. The verb to exactly. be have to be after the subject. Correct. So I need to say, okay, I will check where your package is. Okay, be careful everyone, be careful. Now, uh, some customer says, I know happy. I know happy with that decision. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I'm not. We ah. have a subject. I don't. I don't, don't. Mm, but I'm, I'm saying not. happy. I'm not. I'm not. Ah, I'm not. que necesito? I need the verb to be, okay? Uh. And this it's is the an same adjective, example. Right. 
So, a ver, digan mamá sin unir los labios again. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can we say that? <laughs> no. no. So, si me van a usar contractions, I mean, excellent. But tenemos que pronunciar la letter M. All right? So, please, put your lips together. M. I'm not happy. M. M. All right? Si no, me, si no me unen los labios, no va a sonar el verb to be. Okay? So, listen to me. Pequeños details, guys, en cuanto a pronunciation. Hay que ser muy, muy cuidadosos con esto. Así que vamos a tratar la manera de prestar mucha atención, especialmente a los últimos sonidos de cada palabra, porque ahí es donde se me están equivocando. ¿Ok? Be careful. Ok. I be everything as possible. Hmm. What do you think? I do. Ah, very good. So here is future, right? I'll do everything as possible or everything I can. So if you use future contraction, I'll. I'll do everything I can. I, I, okay. In your next purchase, you are receive. Can I say you, that? You will receive. Ah. You, will receive you will be received. You will receive. Only yes. that. Okay. So. What happens here, yo sé que es por la presión, right? Is the conversation that we are not used to. It's difficult to think a lot of things at the same time. But remember that grammar is important, okay? Let's imagine that you are in a real phone call. So it's necessary to pay a lot of attention to the details. Got it? Yes? Yes, got it. Pretty good. Okay. I need an agent. Who wants to be the agent? <laughs> no se peleen por hacerlo, right? Okay, I'm going to pick randomly. Uh, and then I'm going to pick randomly a customer. Okay, no worries. Let's see. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, the first name will be the customer. Okay, Isabel Hernandez, are you there? Hello? Slip. Okay, another one. Carlos Abrego, are you there? Oh my gosh. Guys, participation. Jamie, Jamie, are you there? Yes. Yes. Jamie, you are the customer. Okay? Okay. Uh, Lucy, I think that she's listener. Christian. Christian is there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, you are the agent. Okay, Jamie, okay. the first role play. You order a book, but you receive another product. Okay? Ring. Hello. I am the customer service solution. How can I help you? Hi, I'm so angry because uh, in the last week I bought a, a book and I choose a Harry Potter books, but Today I received a book made page full toes. And I would like to I would like to know what did happen. Oh, that's a good knowledge for me, but I'm going to do all as possible in this moment. Can you give me the order number, please? Okay, is letter A M A. Mm -hmm. S. Yes. One. One. Nine. Yes. And mm -hmm. S. Okay, thanks. I'll check it in this moment. 
name checking. Just wait a second. Okay, okay. I'm back. Uh, okay, you have to be patient because uh, we lost your product. Why? And, and that is a big trouble with us. And I know that there is a big problem with you also, but I I am we are doing all as possible to resolve it as soon as possible. But you know, if the product is loose, uh, we have to send it again and you have to wait for that package. But the good notice is that it, it doesn't have a, a, any cause, okay? We are, go, we are giving you free because we have the problem in our company and our achievement, okay? Are you okay with that solution or you need another, you have another mm -hmm. problem? I I need to know when, when I going to receive uh, my book because I don't like this kind or book and you can say me that my my book is lost uh, I need to know what they are going to receive okay. please yes of course uh, the shipment is going to leave our, our country as soon as possible in this week we are going to send you that uh, book but uh, the problems maybe is going to be all right time's up <laughs> okay good let's stop there si no se me va a enojar más la costumbre right oh my goodness <laughs> okay good yes. but how can uh -huh. I, how can i say estoy temblando <laughs> i'm shaking <laughs> i'm shaking Sorry. <laughs> yeah i mean i freak out when i listen to jamie right since the very beginning, she said that she's not happy and helped me with this. I like that. Now, I know that we don't have the vocabulary, right, that people in call centers use. And it's okay. I'm not evaluating that. I just want you guys to be able to express yourself. And that is what is going to be a little difficult. And that is what I'm identifying right now. You are trying to express your ideas, you are trying to explain, pero nos está costando mucho darnos a entender, right? Tanto del lado del customer como del lado de los agents. Nos cuesta explicar la situation, nos cuesta estar explicando la solution, right? So, sin querer, estamos diciéndole al customer that you are the problem. <laughs> so, be careful. Hay que tratar la manera de darnos a entender y creo que vamos a tener que implementar más este tipo de role plays, no con la intención de que aprendamos a, a ser agents en un customer, yo sé que no todos aspiran a eso, but because to express ourselves, porque siento que sí les está costando mucho expresarse, darse a entender, ¿ok? So we need to practice that, got it, ¿ok? Yeah. Now, good. Now, we don't have more time. Don't be angry customers. I feel panic when I listen to you guys. Oh my gosh. I feel that Erica identified the angry customers, right, Erica? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. So, listen, we are going to have a more a role plays in different scenarios eh, because I need you to express clearly. I need you to ask correct questions. Me están haciendo preguntas con una estructura que no es la correcta. Yo sé que si los pongo a escribir, las escriben bien, pero de nada me sirve que las escriban bien si a la hora de hablarlas me están haciendo como una ensaladita por ahí. So we are going to practice that. Así que espero que estén listos para más role plays, all right? But don't be angry customers, please. Now, do you have any questions before leaving everyone? Questions? No, no questions. Excellent. We don't have. Fully done. 
Excellent. Okay, so guys, this is all for today. Hector is the winner for tonight. So the rest of you, you can go to sleep. Hector, se queda, please, por ser un angry customer. <laughs> All right, so guys, good night. Take good care. Night. See Thank you tomorrow. You. Goodbye. Bye bye. Good bye. night, everybody. See you. Good night. Good night. Okay, Hector, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Pretty tired. <clears throat> a little, a little sick, but I live. No problem. Yeah. No big problem. <laughs> Only my voice is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a. Uh, more, more, uh, I would say, comes out, uh, tired, tired, but my boys, I don't know. Ah, oh, your boys are six. I, I think, I don't know, because maybe the weather changed wow. because inside yeah. my, my office have a, uh, air, air conditioner, uh huh, uh, and outside is very, very hot. And, the chains inside mm. to outside. How, that how affects, that mm -hmm. affects a lot. Yeah, you're right. All right, but I hope they can get better soon. All right. Good and teacher. well, how do you feel about the role plays? It is easy for you to express or explain the ideas? No, no teacher, I have a big problem with my expression mm -hmm. because I, I, I think if we have a, a conversation, um, um, typical conversation, I think I can answer mm -hmm. many questions or a talk. Um, no, it's nice, but so so. Like right now, you are expressing uh -huh, right. good right now. Really, but yeah. when 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 need um when must. Uh, uh, answer question uh, how say uh, with a high level problem mm -hmm. no I, I think very slow for a think and my and my parents very quickly very very hmm. smart smarter <laughs> they are smarter and and no I, I can I have a little problem with that but okay. but I think it's, it's necessary practice and Absolutely. I, I I thank but you for don't don't say it's matter, okay? Because you are smart too. You are very smart. Okay. What happens is maybe they have more experience with the vocabulary, uh, and mm -hmm. that is what you don't have. Because when you are talking, you don't find the words. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. that's the, 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 the issue. So we are going to have more role plays, as I mentioned. The idea is not to learn vocabulary about call centers. That is not what I want. What I need is that you are able to express. Mm -hmm. So don't worry if you listen to your classmates speaking very fast, leave them. Esos son mm -hmm. ellos. You speak... Eh, if you don't, I mean, if you can't speak fast mm -hmm. because you have to organize your idea, don't do it. Take your time. Prefiero que hable lento, pero que se le entienda, a que hable rápido y no entenderle nada. All right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. remember que fluency no se trata de hablar corriendo. Se trata de hablar a un ritmo que se le pueda entender lo que usted está expresando. Okay? Okay. okay. Now, um, if I have to compare the actor from the previous level, honestly, mm -hmm. you are talking more, okay? I remember in the previous level, you were a little shy. You participated, but not so much. But now you always participate, okay? Me doy cuenta cuando no está activo en la clase porque no lo escucho. Y es like, qué raro, ¿dónde está Héctor, right? Si Héctor siempre uh -huh. está participando. So, eso me gusta. Así que eso me demuestra que lo está intentando. Y like, you speaking is improving. You are doing great, uh -huh. all right? Thank you. Uh -huh. Ob obtener vocabulary no es fácil. Es cuestión no. de practice, es cuestión de tiempo, believe me. So, entre más lo practiquemos, much better. Así mm -hmm. que le recomiendo que haga monólogos, all right, ahí hablando usted solito. Imagínese que va a tener una phone call, ¿cómo lo diría? 
invéntelo. Uh -huh. ah, trate de hacer monólogos. Eso hacía yo, así hablando solito en mi casa. So, it helps. Okay. I tried to teach it, but in my mind, I think it's necessary to use my, 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 uh, my uh -huh. mouth, your mouth. My mouth, uh -huh. yes. my mouth, because uh, I can, uh -huh. I can think, but the problem is translate exactly. here from here. No, uh -huh. hágalo a voz alta. Si lo hace en su mente, va a seguir pensando que lo está haciendo super good. Tiene que escucharse. Uh -huh. Así que desde ahora en adelante, todos los días, Héctor, pero promise me, todos los días haga un monólogo, pero que se escuche su voz. You have to uh -huh. listen to yourselves. Ok. okay. I will All, try to every try. single day. Okay? ok. Ok. Very good. All right. So, um, no se desmotive, please. Siga adelante. Lo está haciendo. En verdad, yo estoy viendo mucho improvement en su parte, de verdad. Y si se fija, hay otros classmates que ya se me están quedando callados y eso me preocupa. Así que yo no quiero que usted caiga en eso. Quiero que usted siga. All right. Great teacher. Okay. Pretty good. I don't know if you have any questions, comments. No, teacher. No, um, I have a problem with that. Uh, um, and my so my homework on the platform. Oh. This, but but uh, I don't have a lot a lot of time. But I try uh, so in my free free time. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I uh, I think I solved the first. The first uh in the first unit the first unit uh-huh mm -hmm. i can solve yeah but, but i think that is a problem of the platform yes. the exercise but yeah I will try. okay Excellent. thank you teacher thank yeah. you you're it's very welcome okay so have a good night continue improving don't As give you up will, you are teacher. doing great thank you have a good night too thank you see you tomorrow goodbye bye bye